Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to All Gains Mindset, everybody. It's me, Mike, and I'm here with Andrew, and we're we're really excited to do the podcast again and, and get at started, but today we're doing something different. We're doing a episode type of deal where it's going to be like a series. We're going to get people on. Right now, our, our guest for today is going to be Andrew himself, and it's on success stories. So, Andrew, uh, welcome everybody to you, you know, say your thing. It is good to be back. It has been, uh, we have not done this in like a couple months. Oh, yeah, it sucks. Uh, corona has taken its to- uh, has taken its toll on us, obviously. And uh, it has like affected, you know, everyone in different ways. And it has limited our capacity and our ability to do podcasts. But now we're back. Yeah, we, so we've been we're back and we're ready excited. to. We're yep. very excited to be back and to do this because it's, it's, we've been itching, we've been itching to talk about like a lot of different things. But um, the podcast, we'll get to that soon very soon but today it's it's on the success stories we want to get multiple people on here we want to we want to celebrate pretty much their success and and whatever it is and so today we're going to celebrate andrew's success in him losing weight and a whole bunch of other things he wants to go into so andrew you you're feeling good today You're, you're doing good i am ever since i've been eating healthy you know when you know past couple years i felt never better of course you know and the obvious reason is because i've been eating better and i've been working out exercising staying disciplined all kinds of stuff like that yeah so pretty much let's let's go with the basics when and i think we've talked about this before but i love hearing the story over and over again but when did the when did you decide that hey i need to change the way i do things and now i gotta actually put my ass into motion and do it well it basically goes back to when i worked at a at a certain fast food restaurant <laughs> so obviously when you work at fast food you a lot of times you just get you know there's no other way to say it. you get fat you know you work at a fast food restaurant for like a couple years and you gain it's weight very true whether it's on purpose or on accident you unknowingly just eat that stuff whether when you're on break working at these kind of places and you're always you're always like tempted to eat because there's a very high stress level with these sort of jobs, so these sort of fast pace, you know, customer service kind of type deals. So when I worked at this restaurant, I was uh, gaining weight at a massive, uh, massive like on a massive scale. So basically, I didn't really realize how much weight I was gaining. But over the past like the two years that I worked there, two and a half years, three years, I, I gained like like 60 pounds. I'm pretty sure. Jeez. So, like, I was like I was like overweight in uh in middle school and high school. Um it's actually kind of funny cuz I remember in middle school uh, specifically I I would be just be called fat and some people would not like they wouldn't do it to like make fun of me or anything but they would just be like they would make hints like oh well he's fat so like they would make little comments that indicate that I'm bigger than a couple other people. So there was always that like uh, there was always that like inner consciousness of me that was just like, oh, you're fat. And then, but then I'd be like, well, it's, I can't do anything about it. There's no, it's not like I can like lose weight or anything because then I would have to, you know, cut food. And I like food because I've always been like, I guess, a food addict. My yeah. grandparents and parents, I, I, you know, mostly, you know, like families always fed me a lot. And, and, you know, food is used for pleasure. And whenever, you know, family just wants to make sure that you feel good, you know, they try to make sure you feel good and they try to like keep you happy. So, like here, here, have some food, have some cookies, and you know, of course, me loving food as much as I always did, I would just take it and I would just eat whatever, whenever. So, like in high, or like in high school, when we would go to McDonald's all the time, it was terrible. That was a terrible thing. We, we thinking about it now, we should have never done that, but we had, you know, we have to learn. Yeah. So basically, we we'd go to McDonald's all the time, or we'd go to like you know the certain restaurants near us and we i'd always eat out i would get like like five mcdoubles and like six packs of cookies and cookies has always been my weakness obviously i was never i was never any better and then like high school i would like eat everybody's lunch because just like including yours mine (laughs) i would like like i would eat your crust i would eat drink all the chocolate milk which would do more damage to me than ever so basically like being younger i really destroyed my metabolism by constantly spiking insulin and destroying myself with sugar and high pro- highly processed foods so you know i you know so throughout high school i was always like heavyweight and everything and you know i didn't think there was anything i could really do about it i was like you know i'm, I'm, I'm never gonna, gonna be able to drop weight or anything i might as well just accept me for who i am and i might as well just be myself <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> you know so 
you know, years gone by, and I'm working at this uh, fast food restaurant. Ended up getting, uh, I guess, the catalyst to how this all ended up is I got into a relationship with someone from from the workplace, which, which is something is, you probably should never do. Probably not but, a good idea. It no, is tempting, not, but yeah. it could it could end up like disastrous results, which I, it did for me. Yeah. Exactly. So when when the relationship went south, and I was just like, what? You know, because it happens. You never really see it coming. It kind of just happens, and and when it does happen, you kind of get lost and you get depressed, and you eat more and you drink more. You know. Uh, yeah, you had a you had a real fun time with that. Oh yeah, I mean Jack Fire has always been there for me. <laughs> so, thank you, Jack Daniels. So uh, basically, when I got when I got dumped with the girl from the fast food restaurant, I was basically like triggered, like. Some say like getting broken up with makes you like want to eat more and you get more depressed. But then sometimes you have it has the opposite effect. You get like triggered to the point where you want to make a huge change and you want to like like something's not right. I need to make a change now, you know, not necessarily to get revenge on the person that broke up with you, but just to become a better person in general, just so you don't have to have, you know, you don't have to go through that pain ever again. Yeah. So when I when I was basically broken up with, it was sort of like a trigger to hey, you know what? It's time to it's time to like become better at no matter what. You have to do something to change your life because you don't want to be living in this kind of in this kind of depressing atmosphere. You don't want to bring this energy into the world. So I started you know doing small research on like diets and like you know because I knew that there had to be a way to to become better. There had to be a way to lose weight and, and become a better person because there's no way I can keep working at this place and acting this way and you know and I didn't want to be called fat anymore I didn't want anyone to see me looking at like the fat guy and I just wanted to feel better because I always felt horrible woke up with like headaches all the time Bl- I'm always bloated and I was just like oh god when is you know when is you know maybe is there a way out so I just started doing crazy amounts of research so I don't wonder like like now whenever I try to tell people oh about keto and stuff and like blood sugar and insulin oh you don't know what you're talking about like man I have done <laughs> countless. I've done like you, fa- you have read many things you've been you've read a lot of different like articles and you know books and whatever yeah I've, d- I've read I've done like hundreds of hours of studying you've on done nutrition. more reading <laughs> in this in, in this specific thing that you've ever read like in school exactly if you would <laughs> if you would ask me like high school middle school read a book I'd be like ew what why do that when I can just watch well, the movie <laughs> <laughs> I used to say the same thing so. I started reading books about nutrition and I started understanding uh, ar- different articles talking about like insulin and and why we get fat, which is a book that I read that actually changed my perspective too by Gary Taubes, great book. Um, basically, I had an epiphany that insulin was my biggest problem. The reason I was never able to lose weight is because I was constantly spiking insulin. I was constantly eating. I was eating way too many calories and I was not working out, obviously, which does plays a factor. So when I realized what the problem was, I knew I had to attack it head on, basically. So doing so much research, I started experimenting different diets. Now, I didn't lose weight right away. It took some time to really dissect what the problem was because it's more of a trial and error kind of thing. You have to you have to fail in order to succeed, I believe. Yeah, no, you're, tr- you're right. So I tried a lot of diets. I mean, you name a diet, I probably tried it for a little bit, and no- nothing worked. And then... I found this guy on YouTube named, uh, well, actually, no. What happened before that was our buddy Joe, which uh, people have seen on, on All Games Mindset before, he told me about this keto diet, and I was like, what is a keto? Well, what, is, <laughs> what is this keto you speak Yeah, what is ketosis? So he explained to me that it was basically like low-carb, higher fat, and moderate protein. I was like, uh, okay. I, I didn't discredit him or anything. I, it's not like I didn't believe him because I, I respect him. So I, I kind of, I had to figure out a way to understand what he was talking about. So I went to go just research all these keto stuff. And I started seeing a lot of success stories with keto, like how people lost weight and they felt better. And I was like, I want to lose weight. I want to feel better. How I can I do this? I want that. Please. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Most people will just not do the work. They'll try to find the easy way out. I knew that the only way you know, I was going to lose weight was to implement what I've learned and take action and do what was necessary. So I started 
I started researching foods and what foods had sugar and what foods were good for you and like what sauces that have like condiments and foods and proteins and understanding macros and what fats do and what carbs do. What are the bad fats? What are the good carbs, the bad carbs, the good fats, the bad fats, fats? And what were the healthy sources of protein? Which by the way, I'm pretty sure it's animal meat because they have, they have all the amino acids including leucine which is a powerful muscle building effect but that's besides the point. Um... Basically, I discovered what foods I should be eating. And I also discovered the term insulin resistance, which means that some people get fat from carbs easier than others do. I am insulin resistant. Someone who is insulin sensitive or will be able to eat more carbs and not get fat. We all know those people who eat a lot of food and they don't gain weight. And we hate them because yes. that's not fair. But yeah. then again, nature doesn't care how you feel. Exactly. So you get dealt with the card and you have to play the game that's yeah pretty much like i because i remember with me when when i was starting to get fat like i i knew for i knew for the longest time like i was insulin sensitive which is you know the opposite of insulin resistance but then once i started getting fat then i knew i was losing it so and then i was like yeah i need i need i need to fix that and so but you knew from you knew well you found out that you became insulin resistant and it clicked in your head is like oh that's why you know i can't lose weight and so you decided to figure out how to fix that and you decided how to change that and so that's what you went for and that's uh that's the whole thing like you gotta people 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 will do the research but then they just don't know what to do after that they don't know they don't know what to do with this information they don't know how to start and that's and you know that ends up being a being a thing where people just negate it negate the 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 want for change in the first place you know what i mean yeah and then they never take that first step yeah yeah they don't know how to take that step and that's and that's what's something that we try to do. We try to show them the way to take that first step. I yeah, I now. put so much of my time into researching this stuff because I wanted to get it right. I wanted to truly understand this kind of stuff. So that way, if people ask me questions, I want to be able to answer it with like the honest truth. I don't want to scam anybody with information. So if somebody asked me a question about keto, I want to be able to answer it correctly yeah. so I could pass on my results. Because the one thing, I don't know, I feel like it would be horrible to like to lie to people about like nutrition stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Like, I don't want to be a scammer. I want to like tell the truth. So I wanted to make sure my research was on point. Yeah. So one, And then so once I lost, I lost 70 pounds from keto. Um, so when I did lose like all the weight that I lost, I knew that I had to kind of pass on this information. So, which, la 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 la, we kind of end up here. Yeah, so that's how we got to at this point. This is great. So, I mean, it's it was really hard, you know, to, to really get the diet right because there was so much misconcep- uh, misconception on the internet. Oh, yeah. Like, there's so much false information and people saying, oh, you just gotta, you just gotta, I mean, a calorie deficit, for example, will help you, but it also depends on the body type. Yeah. Of, uh, what different diets you could do like some people keto works for great and others maybe not so much or they they have trouble adapting so maybe it might not be for everybody but it sure is for some people I, I can say that yeah you know but the main thing that helped me was making this into a lifestyle that's the biggest change because you can do this for like three months lose weight and then go back to your old ways and then gain some weight back you don't want to do that yeah no and i feel like that's the i feel like that's the problem with uh with a lot of people that want to go on diets is that they it's that they just think about it as a diet they don't think about it as like a complete lifestyle change and i feel like if people took their diet seriously and created a new lifestyle for themselves with this new you know way of eating then they would see better results they would get maximum results you know what I mean? You get, they get full potential of like that specific diet because if they create a lifestyle around it, and you know they form, they formulate themselves into this into this diet and into a new way of thinking and doing, especially with eating. You know they can actually uh, get you know lose more fat, lose more body fat, lose more weight, and they get better results that way. But people, I, I it might be because a lot of people are not you know they're very short-minded they're very you know they they don't think outside the box they, or they don't think for the long run they only think for the short and so that's pro- that might be an issue but like people really need to take their diet seriously and do it as a lifestyle like you have like i have exactly you know as i said there's a lot of misconceptions and everybody's always trying to look for the quick fix life is not a quick fix you have to do the work yeah i did not lose 70 pounds in like one month that's just I don't, that's no <laughs> 
It just doesn't happen. If anyone like loses that. seventy pounds in one month, I think that's a problem. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Get off the crack. Are, are, are you are you are you not eating? Are you are you smoking something? I also Do learned I the power of intermittent fasting, which which combined with keto is the ultimate fat loss tool. Oh yeah. So like I started doing one meal a day and that was probably the like the best the best fasting routine for me because first of all, it was helping I, I could eat in one like one uh, meal for the day and just not worry about food and I get all my calories and nutrients in and it was just more convenient and I'd keep insulin low for the next 23 hours yeah so, definitely a lot you know very beneficial but I noticed that when I started doing keto and getting rid of all the sugar I feel I felt so much better like, like your mind felt clearer yeah. and yeah it's absolutely insane to think of how bad I felt. I was always going home and taking naps after work and I just felt sluggish all the time and I've always put sugar in everything and then when I got rid of it all, I felt like I had more energy. I felt happier, more positive. My mind felt better. I was able to think more clearly. No more naps. I just felt a lot happier and people could feel the the the, the more positive energy as I ate better because nutrition truly is the a, a big factor to like being a more positive person. Yeah. So I became more, you know, a lot more happy and, you know, motivation, motivational. Yeah, because the I... thing is, because something that we that we talk about a lot is that once you once you start uh, going down a path of like eating, eating healthier and eating correctly, your your body reacts positively, which then, you know, creates a, a positive outlook and a positive mindset. Once you and when you eat negatively and eat all these terrible things. Your body becomes sluggish, and and you start, you know, having negative thoughts and all these different things. And we we've, we've both gone through that. We've both had those negative thoughts. We've both been up, you know, way past the time we were supposed to, just scrolling through Twitter or something, and just being like, "This shit fucking sucks. I hate I hate all this shit." You know what I mean? But like now that we we eat right and you know we do all these things correctly, we start and we start feeling good. We start, you know being more active in certain certain aspects and and seeing the brighter side of everything you know what i mean exactly but it, people also have to understand this was not an easy transformation oh yeah no it was by not. no means uh, an easy stretch there was many nights of me like contemplating am i doing the right thing and I, nobody really besides me did keto besides like my friend joe you know uh, no one really understood what it was like to get rid of sugar and do fasting people would call me crazy for what oh, yeah. I'm doing we, we, and, we would ridicule the shit out of you, but you knew you knew that you were doing the right thing, and you needed you you couldn't like let us stop you. Yeah, because not many people live a healthy lifestyle, so people are gonna come at, after you. And you're basically like, if you go on this on a healthy journey, you're for the most part, you probably start out alone because not many people are gonna be eating healthy with you. Yeah. So there is like there's a lot of pushback from a lot of the people around you. So I had to deal with people saying, oh, you're going to die. You're going to kill yourself. You're, you don't know what you're doing. You're not eating the right foods. You know, you're going to get you're going to get diabetes, get a heart attack. And you're going to your cholesterol is going to be out of control. By the way, it's all false. So, you know, that's I've done pretty well. So um, so not many people are going to really, truly support you with a diet like keto. But the people who will, I am extremely grateful for. Hello. Like there were, Exactly. There were like many nights where I would like get extremely like hungry and the cravings might I mean, the cravings definitely went down since keto but you know we all have those nights where we just want to eat for pleasure and you know maybe it was a bad day you just want to sit back and relax and eat some cookies and so there would be nights where i would down like whole jars of peanut butter and oh, i would no. i would binge out so no no i've had some bad days in my time i would eat like a bunch of uh, quest protein bars which were just uh basically it would destroy my gut but you know what? But like, it's you know, ha having those it, it makes you human, you know, because like everyone makes mistakes. Everyone does, you know. Everyone knows what they need to do, but everyone also makes you know the wrong choices. And you know, it's and it's and that's the human way. That's just human nature. But it's but it's also important to know that you're making that you're making a terrible mistake, and you need to learn from it. You need to you need to figure a way to push on past that. And you really haven't like had those really bad the uh, you know things where you ate all whole jar of peanut butter and stuff you yeah. haven't really had that much of that anymore yeah, i've been you, really been, good yeah recently been... i've been doing pretty good i've been you know i'm most sticking to meats and stuff and 
I, I've been finding some good products, but like, yeah, I mean, of course I've had those bad nights and, you know, snap, I would just cheat on the diet. I would go absolutely insane. I would eat like 20 cookies. I'm like, you know what? I don't care anymore. And then the next one I wake up like, <laughs> like I would just feel horrible after cheating. And then I'd, I'd get back right on the boat and I would start over again. So like, I never truly gave up. I've been, I've, you know, I've tripped over the metaphorical journey, so to speak, and I've, yeah. I've fallen. But every time I fall, I make sure I get back up and make sure, because you have to realize that, that the uh, the journey never ends. Yeah, no, it, it, once it ends is when you're dead. Exactly. You're either doing two things in life. You're either progressing or you're, de- you're declining. Yeah. So, you know, if you have one bad night, you could choose to have one bad week after that and just say, whatever, I give up. Or you could have one bad night and get up the next morning and say, you know what? I'm gonna start over today. Yeah, which I've had, to, which I've had to do many times. Yeah, we've all we've all had that. I've had many nights where I slipped up, I drank too much, I I had some a Big Mac, I had twenty cookies and and a Big Mac. <laughs> <laughs> I've I've gone overboard, had a jar of peanut butter, and oh, the next day pooping was not fun. Uh, don't, don't ever eat a whole jar of peanut butter, people. It's not a good idea, especially if it's Skippy. Don't do it. Oh no, no just no, no. don't do it. Oh no, I, I've had those. Those are bad. I, like I've Long had extremely ago. miserable mornings, and you know times where I've wanted to throw up because I just binged. I just went completely insane. It's a by the way, a good tip is never overeat at night because you're gonna regret it the next morning when you wake up. You're gonna be like, oh man. Yeah, I, I don't understand some people. I, you know, I talk to them when I talk to them and, and I say never eat past like a certain time and they're like, I have to eat before I go to sleep or else I won't fall asleep. And then I, and when I wake up, I wake up fine. I'm like, how do you wake up fine? (laughs) How do you wake up fine from eating like a whole entire salad and like, and like five cookies? Like, how do you do that? How do you, how do you do it? They're just used to feeling horrible. How do you do those things? It maybe might be genetics, but like that doesn't, that shit, I don't think will last forever. Never does. But you know, it, people like to think, "Oh, it's, it's it's not it's not easy. It's not super hard, but it is a challenge, and it is something that you're gonna have to overcome somehow." Yeah, you know, it's not it's not an easy journey, but it is worth it. Yeah, and it's and like and not only just being consistent like on your food, but being consistent like in the gym, and you know, working out is is another challenge in itself because you want to keep yourself progressing you want to you want to increase muscle mass well if that's what you you know if that's something that you want to do i know that you were wanting to increase muscle mass when we when we had a gym (laughs) when we had the gym thank you corona yeah hopefully it'll come back soon i hope they open up but yeah like same thing after my breakup i just started hitting the gym like i think once again my, my my buddy joe who worked at the fast food restaurant with me he was just like hey um i go to this gym want to join me and i was like Okay, because I was like, I had nothing, I had nothing to lose at that point. I was yeah. like, you know, what, let me, I, I gotta eat healthy and I have to lose weight. So while I was working at this fast food restaurant so many years ago, I started eating healthier and researching like crazy, and I started going to the gym, which is when I started gaining some muscle, and it was very, very actually good progress. I never thought I'd look like this, so pretty happy about that. I remember, I remember the story of you and you and Joe talking about like your first time, and and Joe thought he'd never see you at the gym again, and you were there the next time, and he was just like, oh, good. Yeah, basically, my my buddy Joe didn't think I was gonna show up. So to the yeah. gym, like we had our first workout, and it was like, oh, good. And he he didn't really expect me to come back. He was like, oh, he's probably just talking. You know, he's probably not gonna come back. Yeah, I know. I know he's had he's had many uh, people go with him and never come back. So yeah. So when I showed up again, I was like, let's do this. He was like, oh crap, he's for real. So we've been going to the gym ever since. So shout out to Joe. Joe, you're the man. You're the man. He's he, the man. He's helped me a lot. He's like, done a lot. It was like that uh, in Endgame when, <laughs> when Hulk comes to oh with the, get, with the, with that that uh, get helps Thor the, the, yeah he basically that's basically Joe and me in my time of need so yeah so like we ended up just, we go to the gym for it's been years now so we've been going to the gym and we're gonna continue once this, once they open once back up. once the gym opens <laughs> yeah please, please open soon <laughs> so you know it's it's been a it's been a rough journey but it's definitely been a good one and the best part is it's not over yet and I will have my Full on six pack abs. That is a like, it's been very hard because because uh, my body type is not exactly the get six pack easily type of body. Yeah, but it is gonna happen because if you have a dream, you will do nothing to, but work to get to that dream, to get yeah. to that goal. And don't worry, we will make sure we take a lot of pictures of it and put it all over Instagram. Exactly at All Gains Apparel. Definitely follow us on there. So like the amount of progress. I've made up to this point is extremely like I, when I was in high school I never would have thought I'd be at this point right now 
Oh yeah, no, neither neither of us. Like I feel like a lot happier and like I'm a lot healthier. Uh, pe- you know, give, people still give me weird faces about what I eat to this day. Like I bring like cooked bacon and eggs to work, and they're like, "What, what is that?" I was like, "Don't worry about what, what I have." You know, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, a lot of people just do not eat healthier, so they're gonna question you, and you're gonna get a lot of kind of hate, and you're gonna get a lot of questions like, "What are you doing?" But actually, you could also inspire people as well. I've had a lot of people take insp- inspiration from the things I do and help has helped them change their lives, like you, like me. And it's great. But we'll get there. But we'll get there. We'll get there next time. That'll be the next one. Yeah, but you know, it's it's been a it's been a really fun journey, and pretty much, and you know, as I got healthier, my mind got more clear, and it's helped me like it's basically opened my eyes pretty much. Like I I get to see the like the real problems of nutrition and the real aspects of like how to be healthier and it's it's really changed the, it's changed the whole game yeah oh let's um you know I, now that you just brought up like just the word nutrition i want to i want you to talk about your uh in college i want to i want you to talk about that nutrition class just i just want you to to explain to the people who are listening the people who are watching i want you to tell them what you had to go through in that class because yeah, I knew you did so not like it. <laughs> basically, I was in a community college that I already graduated from, thank God. And I was in this nutrition class. It was like Nutrition 101 or something. So the teacher was basically talking about how, how bad red meat is for you and how ba- and how canola oil is good for the heart, which is not. And, <laughs> and, and she, was saying, she was basically trying to push an agenda of doing more of a vegan lifestyle and that animal products are mostly bad. And I was like, okay, wrong. So like, I remember doing a presentation. We had to we had to pick a diet for the class, and we had to go up in front of the whole class, and we had to explain why this diet is beneficial and talk about it. So I did the carnivore diet. <laughs> oh my god! So when I went up to do my presentation, the whole class, you know, the whole class had to ask you questions about it, and I was the one in the class that got the most questions about my diet than anybody else. People were asking me, oh, you know, are you going to die? How do you get your how do you get your certain nutrients? You know, and it is possible to do a carnivore diet. Basically, this class tried roasting me for, like, doing, like, higher fat, low carb. Because, yeah. you know, they, the teacher was basically, like, a high carb fanatic. Yeah. And she was also kind of overweight, so which makes no sense. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it was pretty – it was kind of a bad experience. Um, yeah, I remember all the stories you were telling me about uh... – all yeah, the classmates, much, all them, ro- all them roasting you, and 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 even when you try to explain yourself to the teacher, your teacher tried shoving you, like throwing you down or whatever. Yeah, I tried to explain why like keto and like carnivore is kind of healthy, is healthy, and she was like, "Oh well, I think you've been lied to, and you really need to get your priorities straight. You really need to, you need really, you really need to do more research." And I was like, "I have done research. I've done all of the research. I've done everything." And everybody that I've helped has lost weight and has been feeling great too. So it's not just me. Yeah. So so these, a lot of these college nutrition classes are really spreading these these messages. I about, feel like, yeah. I feel like know. a lot of them are just, like, especially with teachers. Like I feel like it's mostly the teachers. It's mostly the teachers' fault because they will want to spread an agenda. And it also depends on like the specific textbook as well, because like if they want to use a specific textbook, these teachers, or like the uh, the deans or whatever they want, they want these nutrition classes to be using this textbook, and this textbook is more based on a veganism or a more you know high carb, low low pro you know low uh, fat you know pro very low protein or whatever diet type of thing, you know they're just gonna. They're gonna be like, yeah, push this, and they, you know, they have to get the right teachers to want to push that, and that's just not gonna help people. Yeah, the truth is, different diets work for different people. That yeah. is just fact. Keto like, may not work for everyone. It definitely works for me. Yeah. Definitely works for you. Yeah, <laughs> it might. It might not work for you know someone out there. You know that we try to we, we try to bring it across to, but that but that's also a thing. We we've also learned that 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 is the case. That not everyone you know will get you know the same results as us you know, from, from the diet. And so it's, it's, it's a better thing to just test what does work and what doesn't work. Like what you have done, like you've done that with with all the different types of diets and keto works for you. Someone's going to figure that out and keto might not work for them, but they might find something similar or, you know, or something completely different that might work for them. So yeah, but now it's, it's all depends on the body, on that person. And taking this information, implementing it and helping others has now become my passion. And 
as a result of my own progress. So now that I'm spreading kind of the knowledge that I've learned, it feels great, honestly, helping different people. And that's definitely like something I think it's going to make me a very successful human. You know, it's sort of my passion, my purpose, which a lot of people desperately need. Oh, yeah. So yeah, people need people need purpose. It, it's it's humbled me to help others as well losing weight. Like I've already helped a few people that have seen amazing results. Shout out to especially Allie out there. She's shout out to Allie. She's lost like ninety pounds, like overall a lot of, with, with a lot keto, of weight. and and I got her basically on it. Like not to like humble brag or anything, but like I I think I kind of helped her out a lot. Yeah. So that's just, that's that's one example off the top of my head I could think of. You know, I helped you and you yeah, lost me. weight, and we'll talk about that later. <laughs> But it's it's like, it's kind of, so in a way, like, you know, getting, you know, be, becoming fat and then getting dumped and then losing all this weight and going to the gym, learning all of this stuff, that has sort of changed my life in the way that I found my purpose and my passion because of it. So I guess the, the lesson to take with that is that you never know what events will happen into your life that will Alter the course of your destiny, so to speak. Yeah, it will change your life for the better, and will set you on a course that will change your that will change your future and so, other people's futures as well. So, if I never worked at that fast food restaurant and met the people that I met, I might not be here right now. Yeah, who even knows what what would have happened after that moment? You yeah, know. So, the best part about this, uh, so to speak, success, uh, success story is that it's like it set me on a on a greater path in life something that I'm going to continue to do after today and for the rest of my life and I'm going to keep going and hopefully we're going to create something big with this and that's the best thing about life is like I think the secret to happiness is progression and we always need to be striving for more so yeah. all the things that that has happened to me that's led to this moment it was all meant to happen and what's going to happen from here is as well meant to happen so I think nothing but good things are going to come obviously it's going to be there's going to be some stubbles in the journey and you're going to fall and you're going to get back up but that's the beauty of it it wouldn't be a journey if you didn't fail yeah the journey is about failure and and success exactly so i would say that's pretty much you know in that regard the biz, the biggest success for me would be losing the weight and finding my purpose throughout that and now to see where we go from here is is like basically like it's a gift yeah you know this is uh this has been a great time for you to talk about this. This is uh this is honestly like probably the one of the good one of the best oh sorry one of the best ones to uh to have especially I definitely wanted you to do it first because I wanted you to talk about this stuff for the first success story you know yeah you have you have a really good success story and I really wanted you to share with that with everybody. And we'll get to everybody else. I really want to get some other people on here and yeah, have them share as there's well. There's a lot of people that we already have in mind that we want to we want to share. We want to get different perspectives on their successes and see how they've evolved and they've progressed on their own. Yeah. And how... Because everybody has a different journey. And I think that everyone can learn something from everyone's journeys in different specific ways. So... Yeah. I, I, feel, I feel just listening to someone, just being able to listen to someone, being able to watch someone... And know what they've gone through, know the struggles and, you know, all the different things that they had to go through to get where they are and to see where they want to go from there. Like, I feel like it can be very inspiring and motivational for other people that might not know where they want to be, where they want to go, what they want to do, you know, and so it might help them push on and it might help them go in the right direction to find their destiny, you know, and I feel like by doing this, what we're doing right now really can help them. So, I, and I hope, I really hope so. Exactly. That's, you know, that's the whole plan. Well, uh, you, uh, you've said all you've wanted to say today. Unless you have any more questions for me. I, you know, we went, we went through, we went through a few different things. Um, but, you know, you, you, when, when I talk about struggles, like when I was talking about struggles just before, you know, was there any other like real, like things that that were holding you back like from anything that you were trying to do like was like anyone anything you know was yeah, there i mean there was like there was a lot of different types of people especially at like whether it be people in the house or or people at work or different people in my life they would say you know it's not going to work there's no point you know just or i'd be kind of like here just eat these cookies or ha have this food and here's some sugar sedate you and keep you weak you know they're not doing that consciously but you know it happens anyway and some people like just call me crazy for what i was doing but i 
but I knew that no matter what, I have to find a way to lose weight. I have to find a way to gain some muscle and become a better self. Because let's face it, a lot of people don't want to do the work and they would rather commiserate, right? And they'd yeah. rather get people to share their misery. And you know, so I'll say the people who called me crazy are the ones who tried to hold me back. But at the end of the day, I knew what I had to do. And I knew that nothing was going to, was I could not, uh, not let anything get in my way. Yeah. Basically. And like, and you could take it as like, you know, people that are trying to hold you back are also jealous of like what, what you could become. Yeah. They, you know? they, they, don't, they wanna... don't want you to, they don't want you to succeed past them. Yeah, a lot of people are unconsciously afraid that you're going to do better than them. So they're going to somehow try to hold you back, sometimes without even realizing that they're doing it. Yeah, and try to just sabotage, you know, your journey. You can't let you can't let anyone try to do that to you. Yeah, no matter what, you have to keep going. You have to keep pushing no matter what. There is no reason to stop. You, you can't stop because if, cause then, you know, everybody else wins. Yeah. And they get, they get what they want. You give up, and then you end up just like them. So... Yeah. And no one wants to be the same thing as another person. You you want to you want to have a similar you know mindset. You know, like Andrew and I have a similar mindset on like you know success and and trying to you know be positive and stuff. But like we are not the same person. We're not the same. But we have a similar way of thinking, a similar way of wanting to succeed. You know, I feel like having those types of people around you is is a good thing. Absolutely, you need that support system. So. It's been it's an you know it's been a great couple of years and I'm extremely grateful for all the information I've come into and I'm also you know even though I hate the internet I really hate the internet <laughs> I'm also grateful for it for giving me a lot of the information that I've learned today and it's given me a lot of different perspectives to learn <clears throat> to learn and pass pass on. Yeah, the uh, the internet is a is a weird thing and you know we we have to take it how it is and and take you know get what information we can from it. And, you know, the inf- the internet is a tool that we can use for good and not for evil, which is, you know, social media. Exactly. But, um, honestly, from there, I think, I think we've, I think we said a good amount. Yeah, I really, uh, I really think this was a really good f- first start to these success stories. And I can't wait to have more of these. So thank you, Andrew, again, for, oh. you know, speaking on your stuff. Absolutely. It was an honor and we're gonna come up with some good stuff in the future because now we're back yeah we are back and we are ready to attack so we will have more podcasts coming soon we will have more of these success stories coming soon and we need you to stick around and subscribe to all Gain's mindset definitely like these videos share share them for everybody and until our next videos catch you soon